Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and um, welcome to my channel once again. My name is Collins. All right, um, I would like to start by saying a very big thank you to every member of this community, to all my subscribers, and um, I want to thank you for always coming back to check out uh, my new tutorial videos. And like I promised, I will always be getting um, new tutorial videos across to you via this channel. So once again, thank you. Thank you. And for those who haven't subscribed, please try as much as possible to subscribe to my channel so that anytime I post new videos, you will definitely get to know about it. All right. So today we'll be handling liquid liquid extraction. How do you model a liquid liquid extractor using Aspen Heises? Uh, okay. As process engineers, chemical engineers, um, we are already familiar with um, these unit operations. We were taught about them in our various schools and um, we did hand calculations and all of that. So um, we are familiar with that. And also we've handled how to add them, um, um, select the appropriate field package uh, for a particular simulation. And we've also learned how to add our components. Okay, we've learned how to define streams, so we will be going into that. I've already, I've already selected the components. I've already selected the um, field package also. For this particular simulation, we, we are considering three different components. We have um, acetone, acetone water. We also have M MIBK, that's a methyl isobutyl ketone. All right, so we have a feed which contains water and acetone so acetone is a solid in the feed stream and uh, we're going to be using MIBK that's methyl isobutyl ketone as a solvent to um, extract the solids from the feed all right and we know we cannot use an absorber for this we understand the um, functionality or, or how um, the absorber function or the stripper all right um, for an absorber you're using a um, liquid to absorb a solid from a gas stream for a stripper you're using a gas to strip off solid from a liquid stream all right but when you have a solvent which is a liquid stream and you have a feed stream which is a liquid um a liquid stream also all you need to use is a liquid liquid um, extractor okay you have to use a solvent that has solubility or that or most of you have to use a solvent that has affinity for the solutes in the feed stream, okay. So the uh, uh, basis for extraction or for separation is solubility in this case, just like um, in absorption. All right. So the acetone is soluble in um, in MIBK. All right. So that's why we are using this. Okay. Also, we want to check when you come to the composition. Um, if we go to the more fractions, so we we'll have. We have 40 more percent acetone in the feed stream and 60 more percent water. Okay, um, if we go to the mole fraction, uh, the mole flow rather, the mole flow we have about 2,000, we have about 1,440 uh, kilogram mole per hour of acetone in this stream. So we want to see how we can extract virtually everything about 99%. Of this extracted 99% um, of acetone, okay, from this stream. All right, so that's what we want to try and do with this. Okay, so if you check here, we have the operating condition to be 25 degrees Celsius, 101.3 kilopascal, molar flow 3,600 uh, kilogram mole per hour. Same with it with the feed stream. Okay, so now all I need to do is I'll come over to the object pellet, that's the model pellet, and type liquid liquid extractor or liquid what I type liquid is bring out um, unit operations so we select the one you want all we need is the liquid liquid extractor so let's go so I have to click it draw it then um, I'll have to double click all right so it's just like you know in our previous video we handled the selection column and absorber it has almost the same procedure okay if you've gone through the absorbers um, tutorial or the distillation column tutorial you won't have any challenge with this so what we're going to do now we're going to add the top stage inlet which is the feed then also we add the bottom stage which is the solvent that's our MIBK all right so we have to put in the outlet the outlet is um we can just name it extracted product or extracts so I'll just call mine extracts 
all right and i'll call the bottom heavy liquid i'll call it bottom all right so the bottom heavy liquid definitely is going to be water with some traces of mibk very little traces of mibk and then um, very little traces of um the acetone but it's going to be very um it's going to, the purity is going to be higher than what it used to be so we're going to check this at the end of the day so i'll click on next all right like i told us in installation column and absorber always for, especially for absorber all right the last one we made i told us that the inlet stream the pressure of the inlet stream should not be higher than the state pressure so in most cases it is advisable you use the same pressure okay or a pressure lower than the feed pressure so in this case our inlet pressure is 101.3 kilopascal so i'll, I'll be using 101.3 kilopascal um same thing here all right 0.3 kilopascal all right so i'll click on next now the top stage temperature is optional so we don't want to i don't want to fix anything there so i'm going to leave it the way it is all right and then um, but if you're modeling a, a brownfield project and you have the option the top stage temperature and the pressure then you can impute it right but for this I, I i don't have any temperature for that so i'm going to leave it there crisis is going to generate that for me so i'll click on done all right once i've done this once i've done this i've actually imputed everything if i go to monitor uh or rather if i go to spec oh sorry okay i don't know what is hanging my all right please let's come back to this please okay my system was actually hanging so pardon me for that now we've imputed everything we needed uh, that we need to to simulate this so all i need to do now is to reset and then um, run all right it's converged all right it's converged but um let's check let's check let's go over to this place and then um, check if we're able to extract all the acetone all right, so if I come over to this place, I'll click on um, basis, go to move. Remember, we had, we had 1,440 kilogram per hour in the inlet field stream. So let's see what we're able to get here. So we have exactly 1,440. So we're able to extract 100% of the acetone from the field stream. But another thing we have to consider is this. You know, that when you're running your simulation or when you're running your design cost is also paramount so you also know that the higher the number of stages the higher the cost although the number of stages will also help to increase the purity all right but if we can get 99 98 percent purity okay i think it's also acceptable so let's see if we can reduce this number of stages and get something close to 1440 all right so um i've done that before now so i'm just going to reduce it to four stages where you can start keep trying from eight seven six five four and see if you can get um something close to that if you can get something close to that that means we can actually reduce the number of stages to four and also get something that is close to um what is intended all right so i'll have to reset and run so it's converged so let's go back and check this go back to composition click on uh, all right so we have 1439.99 it's approximately um 99 purity so with um 10 stages we're able to get 100 purity with four stages we're able to get 99 purity so i think we can go with this i think we can go with it so with four number of stages four and um, we're able to go so that is how to run uh, your modeling or simulation of a liquid liquid extractor it is it is quite simple it is quite simple so if we check um, the composition of the bottom that's the water you will see that we don't have any acetone 
okay the mole fraction is um, actually zero but let's go back and check the mole flow and see the quantity of acetone that we have there so it's actually 0 0.00179 which is negligible we we'll have a 4.493 which is actually negligible too so um, with that i think we're done with um, today's tutorial on the liquid extractor all right always look forward to more tutorials on this channel okay um subsequently i'll be bringing us other things and um, my aim is to, to help you get familiar with asthma hysis and then to be able to find a way around this simulation too all right do well to subscribe to this channel and invite your friends your colleagues your um your students your classmates anybody you can invite just invite them over tell them about this channel make sure they subscribe to the channel and then um, go through all the tutorials from the beginning if you are a beginner with asking hysis i would advise you you start from the very first video on this channel that's understanding the basis of um asking hysis and take the tutorial one after the other till you get to this point and with that you build your confidence and you're able to make use of this um, all important software in the oil and gas industry thank you very much for your time um see you in the next tutorial